long mallet finger orthosis. This is especially beneficial in patients who have either hypermobility at the PIP joint um, or a pre-existing swan neck deformity. We're going to and heat it. This piece should be twice the length of the finger when heated. Once it's thoroughly heated, we're going to fold it in half and stretch it out a little bit. We're then going to reheat it. worry about the edges folding up. We're going to position the folded edge towards the proximal portion of the finger. Just gently pinch it. Right up the finger. Pulling it up and away from the patient. Go ahead and cut away the excess. <laughs> and then just doing a little gentle squeezing for conformity. And if there's a point, you can trim that just a little bit. I'm then going to position the PIP in about 30 degrees of flexion and the DIP in between 0 and 15 degrees of hyperextension. The variability in that angle is determined by the contralateral index finger's hyperextension at the DIP. Once hard. We're going to slide that off, trim, and we're going to cut up the side to expose the volar portion of the PIP to allow PIP flexion for exercise out of the orthosis. just going to go ahead and check that fit to ensure that we have good clearance at the PIP to allow flexion during exercise. We can secure a small strap of about a half an inch by briefly heating the material. Adhering the strap right to the material. While that sets up, I'm going to cut a corresponding piece of hook velcro to 
to be applied right over the loop Velcro. This is typically worn for the first three to four weeks of the mallet finger protocol. The strap is removed multiple times throughout the day to allow for PIP flexion. In between exercise sessions, the strap may be reapplied. Like so exercise, the Velcro strap may be removed, and protected flexion may be achieved.